Well, folks, now that Halloween is over, it is time to talk about Christmas. And what coincides so nicely with Christmas this year? Of course, it's the 110th Grey Cup and the Santa Claus Parade. It's all coming up uh, together. Doug Hobson now joins us to talk to us about this year's parade. He is the chair. Doug, thank you so much for joining us uh, virtually today. Welcome. And is it too early to say Merry Christmas? <laughs> I books. It's never too early to say Merry Christmas. Hey, good stuff. And thank you very much for having me. It, it's a real pleasure. Uh, we were talking briefly off camera. That this is exciting. Trying to uh, put a Grey Cup uh, parade along with the Santa Claus parade, be part of the festivities. A uh, little bit of extra work for you this year, my friend. Well, it's status running around a bit, but it's all under control. Everybody's excited, so everybody's pulling together to help each other out and get everything all laid out nice and smooth, so this parade is a great success. And, of course, the culmination will be with the big guy himself making, the, uh, making his entrance uh, to this great city of ours. But what else do we have going on for this year's parade uh, that maybe ties in to the festivities happening down at Tim Hortons Field the following day? Well, we have a large uh, Grey Cup Festival contingency in our parade. Uh, they've got, I believe it's four floats that are going to be entering into the parade. And one of them will include the Grey Cup, which will probably be the second most uh, light float that we have this year, next to Santa Claus, of course. Yeah, the Grey Cup will definitely be anticipated. Uh, can we expect to maybe see uh, a few other teams potentially involved, other cheerleaders, cheer squads, et cetera, et cetera? Yes, we actually have every CFL team cheer squad in the parade this year. So all, all of the teams have represented, and I believe it works out to over 255 cheerleaders in total. Wow. And they'll be walking throughout the parade, uh, spaced intermittently along the parade route or through the parade order. Uh, and of course, uh, we, we hope our hometown tabbies are are in it. However, what's so nice about the Grey Cup and the great game of uh, the CFL is that we all come together anyway. So we're celebrating the season, we're celebrating Grey Cup, and we're celebrating this great city of ours. Uh, listen, I know over the years it's been a little difficult keeping the funds going for this thing, but uh, you've been able to uh, come up with uh, a few bucks, and, and here we are again. Uh, talk to us about some of those the challenges that you might have. Well, as we know, since COVID, everybody's been hit financially, and we're no different, and neither is the city. Uh, we are a separate volunteer organization. We We do... We do operate independent of the city, so we rely on some city funding every year to help help us put the parade on. And this year was a little uh, close for call. We weren't sure if we were going to get the funding at all. Uh, luckily, Councillor Tom Jackson helped us out quite a bit and was in our corner, and we were able to obtain funding, which, of course, is allowing us to put this year's parade on. Oh, that's super. Uh, great to see our counselors getting involved. And uh, th th this means something, having the Santa Claus parade. And, of course, every year now, are you going to be collecting any canned goods? What should people do to prepare, to reserve a seat, uh, get down there early, bring canned goods? What, what can the viewers expect, my friend? Yes, thanks for bringing that up. We will be doing our annual food drive at the beginning of the parade. We have mission services out of Hampton collecting all the food donations, so please... Bring your non-perishable goods, canned goods, box goods, and be uh, be ready to donate them. And they'll be collected just before the parade goes out. The uh, collection will be taking place. And, of um, course, this year's parade, it is, it's a little earlier in the day. Normally, we're used to seeing them around 4 o'clock, give or take. But we're going to be starting things off a little earlier, late morning, I understand. That is correct. We normally like an evening parade because we feel the lights add an, uh, an extra magic to the floats and to the parade atmosphere as a whole. This year, we've moved it up to an 11 o'clock start. And I noticed the, uh, you've got one o'clock there, but it's 11 o'clock start. Yes, and that's mainly to, to make way for the rest of the Grey Cup festivities that are going on. There's, there's a few uh, Grey Cup breakfasts going on first thing in the morning. We have the, van, the fan zone happening on 
James Street North. So there's going to be an added crowd uh, attending that as well. And it'll be a great place for the uh, viewers of the parade to be able to go to afterwards. It's totally free. And there's lots to offer for families along there. But that also creates a, an issue for people coming down for the parade. We suggest getting down there fairly early. Most of the roads will be closed at 930 this year to make make way for the parade route and because of the other festivities going on. So unfortunately, the roads will be a little gridlocked. So <laughs> using public transportation might be a perfect idea for you. Yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, lots of logistics involved. So get down there early, as you mentioned, uh, my friend. Uh, bring down your lawn chairs, your strollers, whatever. Bundle up, uh, but most importantly, bring the Christmas spirit and and bring the the great cup and bring the spirit of Hamilton with you uh, while all this is is taking place. Where does the parade start? And very quickly, the the, the brief route and where does it end, my friend? It starts at the corner of Stewart Street and Bay Street North, and it goes southward to Barton. Then we head east to John Street, then south, west, then West Street, then back to Barton Stewart, which is the end of the parade. Well, pretty exciting stuff, Doug. And of course, uh, you've been in some close contact with Santa himself. Uh, is he excited about making his way here to Hamilton, Hamilton again this year? He is very excited, especially with the Grey Cup being in the parade. Yeah. Uh, he might even have a special escort following or leading him through the parade. Okay. Um, might be some local entertainment that they're walking him along. So he is very excited to be back in Hamilton this year. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, November 18th, start time is 11 o'clock. Get down there early. And if you can't, guess what? Cable 14, we have you covered. Val Cole uh, and I will, will be broadcasting the uh, Santa Claus Parade for you right here on Cable 14 if you can't make your way down. Doug, hey, thank you so much to you and your volunteer team uh, for putting this year's parade together. Good luck with it. And, of course, Hamilton, don't forget to follow us on X. A THN on C14. <laughs> it's, it's so weird saying X. If you have any stories, ideas uh, for an upcoming episode, you can also send us your suggestions to THN at cable14.com.